The Effects of Choice and Enhanced Personal Responsibility for the Aged, a Field Experiment in an Institutional Setting, a study by Judy Roden and Ellen J. Langer. Ellen Langer is a professor of psychology at Harvard University and is the author of over 200 articles and six books. Her work has led to numerous academic honors. Judith Roden was the first permanent woman president of an Ivy League university, the University of Pennsylvania, and has published more than 200 articles and chapters in academic publications and authored or co-authored 11 books. They proposed the theory that patients given personal power and choice should demonstrate improvements in mental alertness, activity level, satisfaction with life, and other measures of behavior and attitude. It was expected that the debilitated condition of many of the aged residing in institutional settings is, at least in part, a result of living in a virtually decision-free environment and is potentially reversible. Patients from Arden House, a Connecticut nursing home, were selected for the experiment. The residents in the four-floor home were all of generally similar health and backgrounds. Two floors were randomly selected for the experiment. Fourth floor residents received the increased responsibility treatment, while the second floor was designated as a comparison group. Their level of personal responsibility remained relatively unchanged. The age range of the participants was between 65 and 90. The nursing home administrator agreed to work with the researchers in implementing the two conditions. He told each group about the home's desire that their lives there be as comfortable and pleasant as possible, and integrated specific differences into the two species carefully. In his speech to the fourth floor, he said, I wanted to take this opportunity to give you each a present from the Arden House. A box of small plants was passed around, and patients were given two decisions to make. First, whether or not they wanted a plant at all, and second, to choose which one they wanted. All residents did select a plant. The plants are yours to keep and take care of as you'd like. In his speech to the second floor, he said, I wanted to take this opportunity to give you each present from the Arden House. The nurse walked around with a box of plants, and each patient was handed one. The plants are yours to keep. The nurses will water and care for them for you. At the end of his speech to the fourth floor, he said to them, One last thing. I wanted to tell you that we're showing a movie two nights next week, Thursday and Friday. You should decide which night you'd like to go, if you choose to see it at all. At the end of the speech to the second floor, however, he said, One last thing. I wanted to tell you that we're showing a movie next week on Thursday and Friday. We'll let you know later which day you're scheduled to see it. Several methods were devised for measuring the outcomes of the study. Two questionnaires were administered one week before the director's talk, and again three weeks later. One was given to the residents that asked questions about how much control they felt they had, and how happy and active they were about the home. The other questionnaire was given to nurses on each floor, who were not aware of the research being conducted, asking them to rate patients on ten-point scales for how happy, alert, dependent, sociable, and active they were, and about their sleeping and eating habits. Records were kept for the attendants to the movie nights, and a competition was held to guess the number of jelly beans in a jar to measure the patient's involvement. The responsibility-induced group reported significantly greater increases in happiness after the experiment than did the comparison group. Although the comparison group heard a communication that had specifically stressed the home's commitment to making them happy, only 25% of them reported feeling happier by the time of the second interview, whereas 48% of the experimental group did so. The responsibility-induced group reported themselves to be significantly more active on the second interview than the comparison group. From nurses' reports, 93% of the experimental group, all but one subject, were considered improved, whereas only 21% of the comparison group, six subjects, showed this improvement. The nurses also reported that the experimental group showed increases in the proportion of time spent visiting with other patients, visiting family members and other people from outside of the nursing home, and talking to members of the staff. In addition, the experimental group spent less time passively watching the staff. 
The movie attendance was significantly higher in the responsibility-induced group than in the comparison group, although a similar attendance check taken a month before revealed no such group differences. In the jelly bean guessing contest, ten residents from the fourth floor and only one resident from the second floor participated. People who were encouraged to make decisions for themselves, given decisions to make, and given responsibility for something outside of themselves, actually showed overall improvement. They became more active and felt happier. Perhaps more important was the increased behavioral involvement in many different kinds of activities. This study adds to the body of literature suggesting that senility and diminished alertness are not an almost inevitable result of aging. Some criticisms that can be made about this study are that when it became obvious the experimental group was happy and healthier, it would seem only ethical to expand the experimental condition to all of their residents immediately. Also, the power of choice might not continue after the experiment is over and would leave the residents feeling even more powerless. Some recent applications of the study and their findings from these applications are that the nursing homes that have initiated changes to give residents more perceived power and control have found their residents to be happier and healthier and to have a 50% lower mortality rate.